Hello and welcome to my channel, Hope Fair Person Day and Sam Box in the Casablanca OAB Limited Edition from Blue Fans. Bought this off King of Seal Media in a group buy. Um obviously um you know it's a pretty limited uh, set, so of course I had to take opportunity and actually get it because it actually looked a lot better than the other collector's edition I currently have. Um what I didn't realise is actually when I bought it is it is it came directly from Blue Fans themselves. So I got a random parcel turned up on my doorstep and I was thinking to myself, you know, what the hell is this? So um no quite lucky to actually have this. So um yeah, I think we're pretty much get straight with the unboxing. Did come supplied with a protector, which is always helpful, and it does help to actually take the item actually out of the protector. Because you know, if you do actually want to get into it. So take the cellophane off there. It does come with a sticker there, says number 291 to 400. Hopefully there's another limited card in there. And we'll try and tear this cellophane apart. So I'll take you through the box and then we'll take everything out. And as you can see on the front, you've got a lovely bit of spot gloss on the title there. And you've got some nice embossing all around. As you can see, you've got all the sort of map play out there. It's gorgeous. Really, really does. And there's a little bit of spot gloss as well around the little lines there. As you can see, nothing really on the top there. On the side, again, nice high gloss finish on the title there. And again, nice bit of embossing and spot gloss all around with the little map layout. And again, on the back, so there's a little bit of a wraparound going on there. Warner Bros, nothing really on the bottom there. And we'll take everything out. I think we've saved the little uh, slip for last, so I'll take you through everything else. And we'll do a little squeeze test. Yeah, it's actually uh, pretty sturdy. About the same thickness as a film arena set. And that is... Yeah, that is nice. So, I um, don't know what to do first. They've both got envelopes. Um, I think we'll do that one first. So, again, nice uh, finish on there. A little bit of embossed, sort of checkered look looking effect on there. If you call it that. A little bit of spot gloss on the title there. Studio credits. And again, on the front there. You've got Casablanca in a nice high gloss finish. Really, really nice. Really shines, which would make sense. So, we we'll take everything out. I don't think there's anything else in there and got some little fake envelopes and we'll have a look through so that's the um from the little um place in the, where the actual film takes place i mean but um i can't remember oh i can't actually remember what the uh the place is called uh that's a little joke by the way but uh these are little coasters and again they've got a nice high gloss finish on both of them as you can see casablanca and casablanca blue parrot and uh yeah nothing else in there go through the other one and again you've got some more coasters so rick's um cafe american and la 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 bella um something not going to try and butcher that but you've got casablanca written on the back of both of those got some little goodies here so a uh, really nice sort of letter dr martin which so that's actually from the um the director of advertising and publications which i which is uh, quite nice sort of nice texture to it sort of nice and thin i uh, don't really know how to describe it really but um this feels a lot more genuine doesn't feel like normal paper put that to one side uh never anything more timely than warner bros casablanca and again sort of the same material as that little letter there and these are just sort of advertisements for the uh, film, sort of around the time it was out. Casablanca. Casablanca is on the air. Solid angles. You've got all the cast there. And yeah, the Herald. Bogart. And tomorrow. So yeah, some more posters on the back there. And yeah, that is a nice little booklet. Got some more goodies here, there's quite a lot in this set, and uh, that's probably from the actual film, if I remember. And uh, something to do with police, so yep, a little nice little detail on that. And again, the same thickness as the booklet and the other letter. Uh, a few more, dear Jack. How, yeah, verbal messages cause mis misunderstandings and delays. And again, same thickness as the letter. Another one, all departments. Story that has been purchased and told everyone comes to Rick's will be known as Casablanca. 
Uh, got a few more posters here, sort of similar to the ones in that booklet I just showed off, but um, <clears throat> they they had a the date they had a date with fate in Bogart, and yeah, and that's the one on the still book which I'll be showing off in a bit. <clears throat> Losing my voice a bit. Casablanca, it's all interesting artwork there. Um, it's quite nice. Uh, got some more here, and again Casablanca, and they're all sort of quite thick. No, quite a decent card and there's a nice sort of matte finish on each of them so there's quite a decent amount there Casablanca so that's from the film itself Casablanca a Warner Bros production Casablanca and there's some sort of um, sketches of the layout of the sort of cafe in the film and again yeah, sort of interesting design. I think these were actually included in the other collector's edition I did a video on. And there's some more on the back. Got a plane there. Little map. And some more sort of layout. So, and again, they've got a nice matte finish in all of them. Nothing really on the back of these ones. I guess you could send it off as a postcard if you wanted to, to your enemies, I guess. So put that to one side. Got the other one. And again, nice sort of gloss effect on the title there and Casablanca take all this these bits out and again you've got an absolute ton of art cars and looks of it so open this up and this should be a poster Casablanca nice hat and yeah got all the names of the cast there this is double sided and Casablanca and again that's the same as the still book inside this set Try and uh, somehow we'll try and put that back to as it was. Yeah, wasn't too much uh, of a worry. And you've got an absolute ton of art cars here now. Again, they all got a nice matte finish to them, so we'll go through individually. Nothing really on the back, but um, I'll try and get this right way around. So yep, that's all sort of towards the end there. You've got Rick there. It's all characters, cool mustache. Rick again. <laughs> Probably my reaction the first time seeing the film. Uh, got some more casts there. Got the Bogart. Don't think that's actually in the film. That's the um, yeah the officer. Got some more here. Just love the set design in this film. And that's the very famous scene towards the end there. Got Rick and all the other characters. Cool hat bro and um yeah they're saluting a certain someone who shouldn't be saluted and there's some more pictures on the back there there's actually quite a lot yeah wow <laughs> they really went all out putting all the art cards in this set um i think that's all of it in that set there's just an absolute ton of art cards but um lastly you got the full slip which i can't remember if you can actually get individually or if it's just included in this set we're trying to find the best place to actually make a cut. It seems to be here. And uh, mm, bear with, bear with. And yeah, it wasn't too much of a trouble. And that's the full set, which seems to be packed to front for some reason. And, they, and it's got a really nice sort of smooth matte finish on the background there. High gloss in, embossed title, um, spot gloss and embossing on the characters there. And yeah, generally just looks really nice. Something really on the top. A bit of spot gloss and embossing on the title. Um, on the back, sort of, sort of radio waves going on there. And yeah, again, nice high gloss finish and embossing all around. You can make that out. It's amazing. And nothing really on the bottom there. I was expecting sort of a number, but there doesn't seem to be. It seems to only be on that sticker. And we'll I'll take all the little bits out. And you've got a nice uh, booklet, Casablanca. And again, you've got a nice gloss finish on the title there. Sort of almost like a foil. And you've got a plane there. I guess you could sort of call it a wraparound if you wanted to. You have a quick look at this. So here's looking at you, kid. One of the very famous lines. And the pages seem to all be gloss as well. And uh, briefly, so it's all in English. As you can make out, because it's all in English. Bogart. 
Got some characters there. He's looking at you, kid. And yeah, just a, quite a lot. Because uh, I don't think I've actually opened any of my blue fan sets. Because I've got quite a few of these sort of limited editions, but um, I just haven't got around to open them yet. Which, if there anything like this, I think I should open because these look stunning. Um, yeah, he's having a conversation there. Have a conversation. And yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful booklet. And lastly, you've got the steel book, which doesn't seem to have a J card. So, trying to think of the best way to actually open this. Which I might just, um, rather than cut into that and risk damaging the steel book, I might just sort of cut into the cellophane here and hopefully not run into too many problems, which we don't seem to be having. So, we'll open the steel book up. And you've got your disc, which is not much in difference in artwork or anything, to be honest. But um, there's your Blu-ray. And there's your Ultra 4K. And I just hit the camera. <laughs> there's the inside artwork. And sort of a chin going on there. Turn it over. And, yeah, sort of a nice matte finish. And, again, this is exactly the same one as the one that was included in the collector's edition, which I got you got on the shelf somewhere. And, yeah. It's all simple, but just looks good. And, yeah, just a nice looking steel book. And that's everything you get in the set. I um, don't think this is available anywhere. I think there's a few listings on eBay at the moment. But um, I imagine that's going to go pretty quick because it is a very um, popular film. At least I would say it is. And don't like that. Um, yeah, don't really think there's much else to talk about. I mean, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous looking set. I'm really happy to have it in my collection and um, hopefully uh, they'll bring more out. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.